Hey guys, so I'm setting up to do a probe uh, of this uh, 246 block using a Deutronics probe. It's hooked into the, wired into the uh, Masso controller and I'm able to uh, use the Masso probing feature. Uh, some guys have asked about how to use this thing and uh, because the uh, documentation is still fairly new. Um, Anyways, uh, I'll run a couple of samples and show you some examples, and hopefully this helps you out. Uh, essentially, when you look at the uh, offsets at the top, those are offsets you can enter in, which will put the zero point at whatever distance uh, away from uh, where it probes. But for now, we're going to set that up as just being uh, 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 zero so that we can find the corner of a part. And I'm doing uh, outside, I've got it set for outside, and I've got my probe speed and my probe diameter. I'm working in imperial numbers, of course, uh, being in the US, but uh, it, numbers work relative to your unit system is no different. So I've set up an offset from the corner. Of that, that Basically, that dimension is uh, how far you expect the probe to travel when traveling uh, towards the block. And then, and how far you expect it to uh, travel past, and then over towards the block. So, if you look at the arrows uh, on the, the logo, you can see that it, it's going to it needs to start at this point and work its way around the corner, and in the same sort of way, working clockwise in all those corners. So we're just going to go ahead and run one and uh, show you how it works. And if you uh, have any questions, feel free. But uh, the idea is basically to get give you an idea on how it works so first off you got to move your probe and I've got an MPG so it, it's kind of convenient uh, I just set that up and uh, and basically uh, move the probe until uh, I get it below the top surface so I've got it set on a Z and uh, And then from there, we're going to uh, probe down, move the probe down in place so it's just above the, or just below the surface of the block. I'm going to probe, and it's, I check that it's connected. I, I, uh, looking in the corner of the Maso software, I actuate the probe manually, it lights up, so it's telling me it's active and working. So, and, uh, now well, all that's left is basically to go over to Masso and, uh, and just make sure that you have your distance uh, set so that it's you can have enough room to travel. So I'm a little tight there on the Y. Yeah, you just move it a little bit to get it a little closer to the corner and uh, now it should be all set to go ahead and probe. So over at Masso we're going to press the, the, the corner uh, probing command and uh, just let her rip. So now Masso's controlling the probe and, and essentially just getting us uh, lined up and moving over. And it picked up the corner. It always probes twice to, to increase the accuracy of what is selected. So now it knows where the corner is and it's set a G uh, it hasn't set anything. We have to basically tell it to set the zero by pressing the set zero button. Uh, so we're going to set X and we're going to set Y. What that does, it activates the G92 at the bottom of the screen uh, and uh, is essentially like pressing the DRO button. Uh, so now it's set a, a temporary offset, work offset for you to work with. And at this point, I just normally just exit the program uh, and uh, move my, uh, uh, using the MPG, I move my, my probe up to clear the part. And then I go over to the uh, MDI and go to X0, Y0. So now the probe's over X0 and Y0, and that should get you to lined up. 
um, and the DRO is saying I'm at zero, but that's a temporary work offset. So I like to work with my my work offsets in the F4 screen. I go to my G54, hit all load. When I go back now, I'm, my DRO is wrong, but that's because I'm in G92 mode. I change and then I just type G92.1 to get out of there. And now my DROs are set to zero. So that's how easy it is to use a probing function and to program your, your control. Hope that helps you.